Hey Jules, I'm thinking of redesigning the Stingray. What do you think of that? Is that a good idea? Greta, what do you think? Alrighty then. Well, they weren't that excited about that idea, but at least someone is on my team and today we're going to have Rosie Cat overlooking this project as a project manager. And she can get really pissed off if the work is not up to her standards, so we gotta be on our toes for this one and really do our best so that she doesn't freak out. Alright, so all the Vec Jack says, hey Sketch, just wanted to say I really love your work and your YouTube channel. It's a real pleasure to watch your makeover so thank you uh, what about a new version of the Jensen Interceptor? I think that is supposed to be interceptor that's a cool car that would be a fun redesign for sure or maybe a 64 Corvette Stingray would be really great and dang these kittens are so sweet yes they are greetings from Berlin Germany and by the way I love Berlin I've been there two or three times every time I go I have a lot of fun I meet some really cool people and I, I don't know if you know about this, if you're watching this video, but I love those cafes where they have artificial beach. They put a bunch of sand in there, so it feels like you're on the beach, but you're in the middle of Berlin. It's really cool. But yes, of course we can redesign the Stingray, so that's what we're going to do today. Now before we get into the sketching part, just make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you get notified when new videos are uploaded every single week. <laughs> This is the 65 Corvette Stingray. Looks like it means business, and it does. All right, so the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray is what we have right here. And this is one of my favorite cars from this era, especially when it comes to American cars. The reason for that is if you look at other sports cars and muscle cars from the 60s, the Chevelle, the Nova, the Camaro, the Mustang, and all of these, they have a specific style that only fits the 60s so if you were to redesign them and modernize them into today's design you can still tell that it is a 60s car based on the proportions of the car and that's kind of what we did with the Lincoln Continental in a couple of videos back so the thing with the Stingray here is that the lines and the proportions are timeless for this type of vehicle it's a two-door sports car a front engine sports car and you have the long sweeping hood right here you have the short greenhouse right here and the short rear as well and short overhangs right there so that those are the proportions that we want to keep but we're going to play around with them as well in the in this redesign because i don't want to keep it exactly as it is right here the proportions i want to kind of stretch the greenhouse forward a little bit like this and uh, stretch the rear c pillar back something like that now before we get any further if you're excited about this video hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to that button as well that way you know what happens you get notified when new videos are uploaded and you can comment on them and make suggestions on what kind of cars you want to see and all that good stuff so don't forget to do that now what are we going to do with this car right here what do we want to redesign first of all i want to keep this line right here that goes all around the car so we have a very sharp shoulder line right there and also a very sharp front nose that I want to keep. And it's kind of unusual for this era to have these sharp lines. And that's one of the reasons that I really, really love this design is because it's so different from everything else that you see in this era. Another thing that I see a lot of resto mods do when they do 67s or 60s Camaro, um, Corvettes is that they remove the bumpers and the trim for me when you do that And when I see a resto mod Corvette from the 60s without the bumpers and the trim in the front It looks very naked. It looks like something is missing So what I want to do is I want to keep these trim parts right here. I want to keep this I love this shape I love the V shape that it goes up like that We can make something cool with that and I also want to integrate some lights in the, this bumper and also have some lights underneath this line because I don't want to break up this line. If we break up this line, it's going to pretty much ruin the whole redesign. It's really that drastic. So I want to keep that line intact all around the car. It goes around the back as well, as you know. So that line can cannot be broken and everything light-wise and trim-wise is going to happen underneath that line. However, one thing I do want to get rid of is this piece right here. I think this is the exhaust. I want to get rid of this. If we're going to modernize it, that means that we need to lower the car to the ground 
but if we do that, that's it's the same thing there. We're going to ruin the chiseled design of this car. So we are going to take a lot of help by using graphic design, which we do a lot in these videos. And this is just another example of how you can use graphic design to get a point across without ruining the the essence of the design and what we're going to do is i want to add a front spoiler right here and make it dark dark gray but have some outline of red to visualize the end point of the car but instead of having the whole front lip red like this i just want to have an outline of it so it doesn't take up too much visual space but it still symbolizes it's still very distinct to where the car the front of the car ends the same thing here, I think I want to just add some grey tone right here and add some trim pieces to the side without adding the body color down here uh, at all because that will just look weird and it's going to bring down the car in a way that doesn't suit the car and that's not what we want. Same thing in the rear, I want to add some plastic part in the rear right here to bring the rear down as well. Now for the greenhouse, I want to move it forward, I want to bring this whole piece forward and lower it so that we have a more streamlined shape like this that is obviously going to add to the modernization of the car last but not least we are going to update the wheels right here have them be a similar style to these but a modern version of them so a lot of spokes but bigger wheels and wider tires so with that said let's jump in to the redesign now let's get to work and let's see how this 67 stingray is going to turn out well, look at that. We are back in Photoshop. That was a long time no see. <laughs> Just kidding. I love this software. If anybody's wondering, uh, Photoshop is, of course, the software that I'm doing all of these redesigns in. Uh, you could probably do it in a bunch of different uh, softwares, but uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I just like Photoshop and uh, I'm used to it. I've been using it for, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. So why switch it up? Anyway, first of all, we need to go over with some airbrush on this car. And as I said in the brief, I wanted to extend the C-pillar and make it uh, more of a cu modern coupe and not have it be so chopped off as the original is. And what I'm going to do later in this uh, redesign is to also extend the front of the cabin. So move the A-pillars forward while still having a steeper, not, not a steeper, a uh, shallower angle on them. So it kind of sweet, have, have more of a sweep looking greenhouse than we have on the original. You know, today's cars, if you compare it to this beautiful Stingray from the 60s, I think this is so, this is more beautiful than 85, 90% of the new cars that come out today. I think today's cars is, most of them are overstyled. They have too many lines just for the sake of having a line there and make it different from whatever other brand is making the exact same car. But back in the day, they stuck to the simple geometries of a car and the simple beautiful proportions that makes a car beautiful, almost like a sculpture, instead of having a bunch of styling cues or features on a car that doesn't really make sense. And I think that's part of the reason the older I get, the more I appreciate older cars for some reason. I didn't, I, it didn't used to be like that. I used to be super hyped about every new car that came out just a few years ago. But the older I get, the more I see that new cars lack a soul. They don't really have the craftsmanship that went into production of a car 50 years ago. And of course, that's just how the times are. You need to be fast. You need to produce cars fast and for the masses. And everything today has to make sense financially. And car, ma car manufacturers are not willing to take a lot of risk they want to stick with what works and be as safe as possible so it's totally understandable but at the same time to me it just makes older cars so much more interesting you know that's really the idea with these redesigns is to take that spirit of an old car but modernize it in such a way that it's still the manufacturing methods of the car that we're redesigning is you're going to use modern manufacturing methods, but you don't lose the soul of the design and the, the uniqueness of the car.
So lately it feels like I've been in, way into red cars and the bronze wheels for some reason. But you know what? I remember seeing a Lamborghini Huracan at uh, Supercar Saturday in Lamborghini Broward in South Florida. I was there one time and this Lambo came in and it was red and it had gold wheels. And I thought, dang, I never thought thought that gold wheels could work so well on a Lambo, but it did. And I think gold and red actually works very well, especially if you don't have a very, uh, sh you know, very golden color, more, more of a bronze tone. And that always works with red, same as red and black really works well together. And if you combine the three, black, bronze and red, you have a winning concept. And that's the theme we're going to use in this redesign right here. So as I said in the brief, I want to keep the, the bumpers and the trim pieces in the rear and the, and the front, but I want to remove the chrome and tone everything down, such as the side mirrors, make them black and tint the windows and the frame that goes around the, the windshield as well, make all of that black. And now there are just a few minor touches left before we can call this complete. Now, before you go ahead and comment that, hey, you forgot the reflection on the floor. That's still an old Corvette, man. What are you doing? Well, that's actually intended to be like that. I want the, 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 the reflection to be of a shadow of its former self. Very philosophical, I know, and very corny, but I think, I think it's cool. So I want to keep the reflection to be the 67. Corvette and then it kind of transforms into this new shape that we have on top So that's about it. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today I'm the sketch monkey if you like this video Don't forget to hit the like button that really means a lot to me now I'm gonna show you the before and after and then we are done have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Take care